My name is Pro and let's get into it. Today we have a bunch of ups and downs with all kinds of luck from the OSRS community in this episode of Reddit Stories. We have a user with the name of Slave to the Slots with only six Phantom Muspa kills and an astounding six collection log slots. Who knew something like that could even happen? This person used up all their luck they have for a lifetime. He says, that was a fast green log. Yes, yes it was. Here we have a Reddit user, 7907, with a 1KC at Chambers of Zarek, and they have received one of the most sought after items in the whole game, the Twisted Bow. Now, if you thought that was crazy, they also have received all the needed items from Zora to complete a blowpipe, a Serp Helm, and a Trident of the Swamp. Too Short for 69, made a post that he has killed Skatizo six times and has gotten the pet drop four of those six short kills. They got the first pet at 1kc and the rest were back to back from four to six. Wish I had that kind of luck when I was going for a pet as well. A funny picture posted by a user named Past Present Furher. I think that's an Austin Powers reference. And he says, don't speak to my son or my father ever again. Should have said Furzer, but that's okay. It's still a good meme. I believe what's going on here is this guy by the name of Dark Mage 69 had killed Leviathan and died at the same time getting a super rare drop but not receiving it because they had died. That's some super bad luck and I wish the best going forward for Mr. Dark Mage. Jagex has finally made something super challenging for the player base and that's the new Awakened Bosses. This user Resident Revenue 326 I can't read has posted that they have finally gotten the Blood Torva armor only obtained by beating all four of the new Awakened Bosses from Desert Treasure 2. Good job. They say that it's one of the most challenging things that they have ever done in Old School RuneScape, hands down. Old School RuneScape has been around a really long time, and with that, you have people who have been playing for a very long time. This clan has been together for 19 years, and they wanted to share some pictures of the event that they held from their 19th anniversary party. That is awesome to see. Switch it up to some crazy unluckiness, user Sizzler990 posted a next KC log of 2,203 kills with absolutely nothing to show for it but some shards, and that is just super unlucky. I hope the best of luck and I hope it turns around and you get all those tour of pieces very soon. Another meme by MaxClouds21 where they have dressed up like their pet Wisp that is a 1 in 2000 drop rate by the way. And they said don't talk to me or my daughter ever again. Muddy Benelli 19 has received a giant squirrel pet at only 53 agility and has not even gotten full graceful yet. They say RNG is crazy and that my friend I can agree on. With one of the coolest pets in the game, we have RJM02 getting the Grotesque Guardian pet at only 52 KC and the Jar of Stone in the same drop. May go very dry for this pet and the jar, so to get it at a very early in the account is really cool. I hope they have a happy life with their pet. I don't know why I said that. <clears throat> With a straight grind fest, we have Throwaway Slave 678, uh, I don't know about that name, getting the Missouri body and the Tumikin's Guardian pet on KC 1503, and the Missouri mask and the same pet on KC 1569. Just made this WTF has posted that they have done the Corrupted Gauntlet 1150 times, and they have gotten a full green log with three pets. They will not stop until they get the second enhanced crystal seed meant for making a bofo or the sword thing and to make things even crazier they are doing all of this on mobile this morning a user by the name of high alchemy decided that they would go into a hard clue before work they hadn't really thought much of it since they had done a few before and you know hadn't really got much but on this morning, they had a big surprise receiving the Gilded Full Helm worth almost 8 mil as a drop at only 48 clues done. 